looked at the field of longevity, this is what I see as the irrefutable things that, that extend life. These are incontestable. These are absolutely, positively the truth. You do these things, any one of them, longevity is extended. I don't think there's anybody that argues with them. But what amazed me is that every single one of them works through your immune system. Not a one does not. Gut biome, physical exercise, sleep, caloric restriction, uh, healthy diet, every one of them has their effect via the immune system. But how many immunomodulators are out there? Exceedingly few. Because our drug system is designed around single active ingredients. Our entire drug system and the drug systems of every country in this world is designed around pressing pills with single active ingredients and the immune system's just too damn complicated. For every effector in the immune system, there's five to 10 agonists and five to 10 antagonists. There is no more redundancy and complexity in any other organ in your body than the immune system. I'm a neuroscientist. I always thought the brain was very difficult, but when I start studying the immune system, my God, you've got yin and yang and dozens of things for every, every single physiological outcome, pushing and pulling with tremendous amounts of redundancy. So my message to you today is if you want to focus on longevity at all, you've got to focus on the immune system. And because that's one complicated beast, you need a multi-active ingredient. And there is a new multi-active ingredient on the market now. Only three clinical trials in the entire United States thus far. It's brand spanking new, and that is a cellular secretome. Brand new drug category that most people are, even scientists and medical doctors, are entirely unaware of. A secretome has no immune rejection because my TGF beta is the same as your TGF beta, and you can engineer antigenicity out of a protein. There's no fear of tumorigenicity. It's just a drug that you can stop taking. It's not a transplant that you can't get rid of. It's easily scalable. It's infinitely cheap. And to the theme, the theme of inclusion, how are we going to get this to everybody, even poor people? You need to make it cheap. And very versatile dosing options, very safe. 17 clinical trials worldwide and using secretomes, not a single adverse event. So my team and I decided to apply this towards immuno-aging. So it is a fact that your immune system gets old and angry. You're birthing it every two weeks when you're 17 years old. Sorry, 27. You birth your immune system every two weeks when you're 27 years old. When you're 57, it's somewhere between every two to six years that you replenish your entire immune system. So you are making fewer cells, but what I felt was much more important in the team was that the secreted factors are fewer because young cells secrete, old cells do not. So the secretome just isn't there anymore. So what happens to your immune system is this. So I'm a musician. This is basically a picture of compression. So when you're young, on the far left of the screen, your immune system is within bounds. But as you get older, it doesn't get wimpy and tired, like you may feel. It actually gets old and angry. COVID does not kill you because of the bug. It kills you because of a misdirected, hyperactive immune response that becomes auto-reactive. So the trick to an aging, uh, an aging immune system is to compress it, take away the highs and the lows to get it back into that playing ground. So what immunists did was took media, dumped it onto clinically compliant and ethically derived stem cells, and for the first time in the world made a cellular population that we can grow in the billions and farm them. Just take the secretions, no cells, no differentiated cells, only that protein set. It is the full secretion set, all natural, all human, all relative physiological concentrations. It's a secretome that has multiple effectors, that has multiple physiological functions, and it's a new drug category permissible by the FDA. This is just a snapshot of the stuff that's in this soup. Like, 
Take a look at those, any specialist in the crowd. That's pretty amazing. Those are major effectors of the immune system, major effectors of growth factors, major effectors of the way that cells move within your body. Cell-cell adhesion or the lack thereof. Stickiness or not stickiness, letting them roll through blood vessels and that type of thing. So this secretome is of use to multiple things. So what we did is we took $50,000, approached five of the leading um, uh, aging experts in the world, National Institutes of Health, National Institutes of Aging, professors, and showed, I'm gonna blast you here with a little bit of data, but I do want you to know that I'm a scientist and this isn't just, you know, flash. This stuff in animal models suppressed things that inhibit muscle growth and increased expression of genes that enhance growth. It caused anti-inflammation while it caused pro-myogenic transcription of those genes. It increased the number of stem cells. It increased the size of the muscle fibers. It increased whole body strength, increased in particular lean muscle mass. The animals behaved better. These are all aged animals. These are 70, 65 to 75 year old humans equivalents. It caused human cells in a dish to increase at about three times in a dose-dependent manner that which uh, they should. It pulled in immune cells into the muscle where we squirted it. Another professor did this arterial stiffness, 100% of humans, not only do they get muscle atrophy, but they also get arterial stiffness. It actually reversed arterial stiffness in aged animals. Given to uh, leading neuroscientists of neuroinflammation and clinical disease, attenuated it extremely. Neuroinflammation and muscle atrophy is what you really want to be paying attention to if you're an astronaut, for example. And then got really, really cool, body fat decreases. These are old animals who become docile and, and fat. And this is the most amazing thing to me. I gave this stuff out to five different professors. Every single one of them, unbeknownst to one another, came back and said, you know, the mice are moving more. They're looking leaner. They look younger. And so we had a professor do work on activity. And the gray bar there through day and night is what a normal animal does. Any animal who gets a shot of stem is about double the level of activity. They're consuming more oxygen. They're b burning more energy. But what, what really amazes me out of this is the will. Why is that mouse doing it? If you're a couch potato, you're a couch potato. If you're tired, you're tired. If the size of your muscles doesn't matter. It's, it's amazing to me, the psychology behind this of why do these mice feel so energetic? So we've just started human clinical trials in this. The FDA approved us in a single cycle. And we're working on a knee osteoarthritis where you get immobilization in addition to age. So these are 55 to 75 year old people that become immobilized, so you got a double whammy on muscular atrophy and they lose one third of their volume of their thigh within th uh, six weeks. And that'll allow us to go into multiple indications for our phase twos. In addition, arterial stiffness, neuroinflammation, and many, many different things like Parkinson and all those neuro neuroinflammatory diseases like Alzheimer's, et cetera. So not only the muscle stuff, but other things as well. Just wrapping up, I decided to have the company scale this. So we are fully commercially scaled now at a cost of goods that someone living in remote Africa can afford. I'm very, very proud of that. So my point here is that if you want to think about longevity, you need to think about the immune system. You can't really think of the immune system with single active ingredients. You need a multi-active. And stem cells have provided us now with a new drug category, a new use for stem cells, that being a secretome product. So it's our goal to address this course of immune-related decline that 100% of humans have. That also means aging and do it with a pocket. Everyone.